living the good life with a salvage grocery store haul. There's no antiques or jewelry in this one, but I'll be loading another video of that type soon. So here's what I got. I went to a salvage slash discount grocery store um, about an hour away from me. I was in the area and I thought, I need to go by there. Um, didn't find some of the same things I found last time, but I did find some other good things that I wanted to share with you. So I spent $62.06 and I'm going to show you what I got. So I got these really large packages of spinach, so 16 ounce, a dollar piece, got two of those. Mrs. Paul's Crunchy Fish Fillets, and they had all kinds of this. Um, it's in date. Um, it was $2.99. I, I've got a whole bunch of Kalamata olives, and I'll share the recipe at the end of the, of the video about how we, um, uh, what we do with these. So I got two of these one pound uh, for $2.59 a piece. I got four of the Peloponnese Kalamata olives, and these are whole with the seed in. They were $1.99 each. I got some dried beef. I think I'm gonna try that whole chip beef. I know that sounds crazy to some people because everybody makes fun of it, but I haven't had any in about 30 plus years, and I thought, I am gonna try this. So make a white sauce and put it in there and put it over toast. Got these Mr. Good bars. They are all in date. My mom loves them. And um, there's the date right there, 9 of 2017. So I got 12 of those. And the candy bars were of this regular size, not the king size, were three for a dollar. And I, you can't get those that cheap anywhere. So I also got some Snickers. These were just out of date by about a month. And I got five Snickers and one Baby Ruth. And this one's went bye-bye. <laughs> And so is this one. And I so they tasted good. So a, mo a month or so, a month and a half out of date is not bad. I also got these. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, these are three black or other uh, black raspberry dipped in rich chocolate gelato pops. They were a dollar. And then I got this other kind that is double uh, dark chocolate gelato pops. So I got two each of those. I'm going to try those. I got this Noblesse. These are in date as well. Uh, uh, for $1.99. It's these cookie assortments. We'll see if those are any good. I got, this is my favorite kind of pickle. Uh, best made baby kosher pickles. They got a little zing with the pepper in there, as you can see, and some garlic. It was $2.69 for a 22 ounce, and it was in date. It expired sometime in 2018. I got this Pepperidge Farm. Chessman cookies. They are out of date a little bit, but they're 59 cents, so I thought I could try it and see. I got this El Chirito brand Saltillo Enchilada Dinner. It's the King Grand Grande size, and I had one the other day, and it is too much food for me at one time. So um, I, they had these. These uh, the expiration date was, or the best if used by date was. April 26th of 2017, so we have plenty of time. I got some from my parents as well, so I got 10 of these. Um, then they had, it seems like there was something else that I bought and got that I can't remember, but then they had a grab bag, and they had a huge cardboard box on the ground, and it said each bag is a dollar. So <laughs> I went ahead and took my chance. I dug and dug to find some that had candy bars in that I thought people would like. There was one of these corn nuts, two of the planters uh, smoked almonds, two of the chocolate moon pie, uh, one of these soft batch chocolate chip cookies, Lucky Charms uh, marshmallow treats, uh, peanut M&M, um, regular Hershey's bar king size, and Hershey's with almonds king size. And then the Butterfinger was actually in date, and these are peanut butter cups. But we're going to try them for a dollar for an entire bag. Uh, we'll see how those go. Um, and to give you the recipe for the Kalamata olives, you go ahead and put them in a strainer, uh, you know, dump them out, let all this uh, vinegary liquid um, uh, out, 
rinse them with cold water repeatedly to get the vinegary taste out of them. Then pack them in a glass jar after they're dry. Um, pour in olive oil and then cut up a lot of garlic. I mean, mini cloves. Um, mint, uh, and cut them up, rough, rough chop them, but make, you don't want like just to cut them in two if it's a big clove, but chop them up. Um, and then uh, oregano and put in a couple of tablespoons of oregano in. Uh, and f you're going to have to make sure that all the olives are coated. So you probably want to fill your jar about three quarters of the way up with extra virgin olive oil. Get good olive oil so you're preserving these. And every so often, uh, get them out of the refrigerator and let them come to room temperature and you know make sure all the olives are coated again by turning the glass jar up and down so that they get coated. And after you leave them for about a couple of weeks or so, they are just wonderful um, to eat with a sandwich or cheese and crackers or, or anything else. So hope you enjoyed that. Please send me a comment if you like the video plus like. I'd love to have your subscription. Thank you.